What's up guys, I am Tone Balone from Malone Post and today we are looking at the Anola fashion luxury brand waterproof chronograph, uh, whatever the full name is, watch that we picked up on AliExpress for 18 US dollars. Now if you know anything about watches, this looks almost identical to an Automars PJ Royal Oak Offshore 42 millimeter. Now that watch retails for in around you know the thirty thousand dollar mark. So this one is eighteen, and we want to compare them and see what's the real difference between the two. So when you're looking at this watch purely for a comparison to an Automars, say you're looking for you know a more budget friendly item of that, there's a lot of things that they actually did really well on this to match what the Automars looks like. So a couple things off the bat is they nailed the design of the specific offshore that they have on their website. Now the offshore has a ton of different models and you know when you're looking at the Enola they have some different models on their end that don't actually exist. It's kind of they took some creative freedom but this is the one I could find that is an identical replica to the Automar PJ just without saying Automar on it. So they nailed a couple things which I actually really like to see on here. So first off, they have all the colors right with the push buttons on the side. They integrated the silicone strap. They have the brush finish. So first let's talk about what's really different between you know the Enola and the Automar. First off is going to be the case bezel. So the first thing you see on here is when you look down it, yeah, there's a complete brush finish on here which does match the Automar. And on the side of it, it does have a shiny finish. However, they missed adding the bezel that's like a 30 or something degree bezel that goes all the way around with it. Now they actually have that bezel perfect on the underside uh, piece that attaches, but they didn't add it to the top. Another thing that if you know anything about Automars is these screws don't all line up. So generally when you're working your way around the case, all these screws run parallel to the glass on the inside. Theirs are all kind of just in there. Again, it's a very small detail for people that know and understand watches. Someone that doesn't, they won't really know it anyways. And the only last really big detail is the order in which they actually assemble this chronograph. So when you're looking at a real Automar, how it works is they have the front face on it, they have the chronograph mechanism, and then underneath the chronograph, they put the day tracker. However, on this one, the day tracker's on the top. Now, that doesn't feel like a big difference, but on the real Automar, they basically add a little bubble on side in the day tracker, which makes it look bigger because it's so deep in, so that's a really big key difference. But they got a lot of things right. They have the finish right on, you know, the knobs on the side, uh, that kind of satin black finish, although these are plastic. They have the 3D effect inside the glass. They have the dial color right. Uh, they have the brushed finish, the right color strap. So there's a lot of things that really make this look similar to an, an Audemars. Now talking about it as an overall watch, there's a lot of things I really do like about it. The silicone strap, it's not super high quality, but like I say, rubber is rubber. I don't, it doesn't feel like a big deal. As long as it's not deteriorating on me, it's comfy to wear, I really have no problems with it. Now next is, you know, when I'm ordering some of these really cheap watches, the thing I'm always scared about is I like going for chronographs because there's a lot of technical um, points that they would have to nail to get a chronograph that works. And this one actually does work. All the chronograph dials work on it. You can set your day tracker, your seconds, your minutes, hours, everything. So it's really nice to see you can get a chronograph in a really cheap watch. Also, a super small detail is they said they're waterproof. Now, if you are gonna replicate the Royal Oak Offshore, it needs to be waterproof. And they actually did add a rubber seal around the case bezel on the top. So I don't really wanna test if it's waterproof because I don't really trust it. But at the same time, it's a very small detail that they were able to incorporate in there that I really like. Now, there's a couple things that are kind of off with it though. When you look at this buckle here, this feels like metal, right? The entire top feels like metal and it feels heavy. But when you're looking at this buckle, it feels like a plated plastic and it's it's pretty cheap when you're holding it. Also talking about um, where it attaches here. Now, this can come off with the Automar. With this one, it's pinned in place, so it won't come off. So where it actually connects here, it's kind of like a rounded area radius, but on the inside here, it's actually square. So it doesn't really fit in there as perfect as I would like it to see. And really the only other thing on this that feels cheap, that feels like it's $18, are all the push buttons on the sides. So these have kind of a little bit of play in them back side to side. You know, the finish is a little different between them. There's, you know, a little bit coming off. But overall, it's actually a really good watch. So, you know, when I, it came in and I was, you know, trying to figure out, is this worth it? And, you know, I was watching reviews on real Automar PJs and holding it side by side. And they actually nail it. So if you're 
interested in a really budget-friendly version of the Automar, then this is a pretty good replica you know, for the price you're paying. Now, if you're just looking for an, an 18, 20 dollar watch, this is actually a really good watch. Now, the only thing I ever know about these is the batteries aren't great in these cheap watches, so you might have to replace it sooner than later. But other than that, for 18 bucks, it's a really good deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, we are looking for other replica watches out there of companies that try and do their best to give you a budget-friendly version of it. So stay tuned, those videos will be coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Tone Ballone.